welcome to this Windows channel and in another video where we explore the power menu in Windows 10 we're going to check another option so the power menu is that menu you get when you right click on the start button on the bottom left of your screen you can uh, press and hold if you have a touch device to have this menu so we are going to check the mobility center Mobility Center is not available necessarily on all computers, I believe. And uh, this is an option that gives you this menu here where you have the uh, display brightness. And you can actually adjust the display brightness from this spot. You've got the volume control. You can also mute the volume. You will have the remaining for battery usage or if you are plugged in you'll see how much time before the battery is fully charged and you also have the option to um, change from balance to power saver or high performance in the computer that really really changes the amount of time that you will be able to use your tablet or a laptop so depending on how long you want to have of uh, usage you can actually go to the power saver mode which will extend the, um, by many minutes at uh, the time that you can use your laptop. Then you have the option of connect display or external display, depending on if you use or not an external monitor for your laptop or mobile device. And finally, you've got the sync settings and the sync center. Uh, the sync settings and sync center are for computers that are uh, part of a network. For example, you'll see how the files are synced or sent from one computer to the other on the network and so on. It has many different options for that and it is really mostly for uh, network enabled computers where it connects to a network and can share some files and folders uh, between machines on the same network. So that's pretty much what you have in the Windows Mobility Center. Uh, most of them have also the possibility to press a button so the sync setting and sync center for example you can go to the sync settings it's going to tell you uh, conflicts sync results and so on and um, you can also click connect display to go to the uh, display screen and try to connect a um, second display on your computer now one of the things that i've noticed about the display by the way is the fact that it's not always working with this option some computers have their own uh, settings for a second screen and actually my Toshiba laptop with the Radeon graphics card has its own uh, catalyst control center for Radeon and that's where you control the second screen and not from the uh, display of the uh, Windows settings. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, maybe a problem, share it with us. We'll try to help you and answer questions when possible. If you like our videos, why not give us thumbs up? You'll be uh, giving us a uh, boost on YouTube and hope to see you again.